What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are vlogging in the car. Oh my gosh, this bus next to me is giving off so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm in the wrong lane. I'm a horrible driver. Okay. Okay, maybe vlogging is not a good idea right now. Okay, uh, just a sec. Now that I am not in a bad situation for driving um, and I can actually talk to you guys. Today I am on my way to this amazing coffee place that has the most delicious macaroons I've ever had in my entire life. They are so good and it's a coffee place so it's like a win-win. So I'm on my way there right now and I'm very excited and it's very hot in here. I had to turn the AC off because my old car likes the AC just extremely loud. I just get to suffer while I talk to you guys. Today I was thinking that I could answer y'all's questions about basically just like everything that's been going on in my life. I feel like it's been very confusing for you guys and I haven't really been explaining anything very well. And yeah, just to kind of like update you guys, I am going to uh, run in, get some macaroons, get a little bit of coffee, and then I can explain my life to you all. Stay tuned. And it's coffee. Everything is going wrong. I had to stand and wait for the macaroons for like 10 minutes because I guess they are short staffed today and the macaroons have to be purchased separately from your coffee. So that happened and then I accidentally put my straw in upside down because there's a pointy end because you have to stab it through and so I put it in the wrong way and the pointy end was up here and I went to drink it and take my first sip and it stabbed my mouth and now my car is making very, very weird noises and I'm convinced it probably won't get me home after this video. So, that's where we're at, but on the bright side, there is a train right in front of me that I'm enjoying pass by. I guess I will show you guys my beautiful macaroons because that's really the only plus side. Oh, and I forgot to mention, not only is my car making super weird noises, but the AC is now not working and I am getting mediocre room temperature, not very cooling air being blown at me. And of course I decide to wear a sweatshirt as a shirt for this video, whatever. I'm done complaining. These macaroons are about to save my life. Oh, look at them. They're so good. Okay, so I got two creme brulee. I got a pistachio. I got a vanilla bean. I got a salted caramel. I got a blackberry. I got a uh, Fruity Pebbles, and I think that's it. I got eight total, so if that wasn't eight, then I'm missing one, and I don't know which one it is, but whatever. But I can tell that you guys are confused based off of like comments on my YouTube channel and on my um, on my Instagram, and I can just tell that like people are like, what is going on? And I feel like I really didn't explain very much with this whole move and everything and like what's going on. And so I put out um, on my Instagram story like just questions that you guys have about like my life and all of that and just like what you want to know about me plus like the whole move and all of that because I know it's been really confusing. The number one question that I've been getting is did Nathan and I break up? No, Nathan and I did not break up. Like we are fine. Everything is good. Like we're still together. I promise. I know it's weird because we lived together for two almost two years and then I just was like all right I'm moving out like yeah people are like are you breaking up like are you guys about to break up like what is happening I know it's super weird but that's just how it is and we're perfectly fine nothing is weird so yes we are still together and no we did not break up do I still see Nathan a lot obviously not as much as like when we were living together but like we still see each other pretty often Mm, so good. But we still see each other pretty often, probably like three, four times a week. And we switch off and he'll come to my house or I'll go to his house. So it's still a good balance. Like we get to see each other pretty often, but obviously we're not gonna be able to see each other as much as we did whenever we were living together because we're not living together anymore. Like we'll miss each other a little bit, but we still get to see each other pretty often. Another person said, do you miss waking up to Nathan being all silly? And are you happy that the pranks are done? Um, so I do miss waking up with Nathan, but it's honestly not something that has really affected me a lot because like I like to sleep in and Nathan like gets up and like gets going in the morning and he's off to the office before I even wake up. That's how it normally was when we were living together. So it's not like we would wake up and make breakfast every morning and all of that. So I'm not missing a lot. I do miss like waking up and stuff together sometimes, but it's not too bad because we still have sleepovers and we get to see each other. So am I happy that the pranks are done? I think so. I have a feeling that the pranks aren't done because Nathan is never done pranking. There's a giant truck driving behind me. I have a feeling that the pranks aren't over with with Nathan because he always finds a way to prank me. So I'm not going to let my guard down too hard on that one. It is so hot in here. Look 
how hard my coffee is sweating. Me and you both, kid. Another big question that I always get is why did I move out? And I kind of explained it in the video where I was moving out, but not very much. I was tired of not owning anything in the house and like not feeling like anything was mine. I don't know, I just feel like there's a different feeling that comes with growing up and like getting your own things. There's a different feeling whenever you kind of get it handed to you and there's a different feeling when you work your butt off and you earn it. And so with Nathan, I'm not saying that he handed everything to me, but he bought the house and that's something that he earned by him working really hard. And you know, he has these nice cars and he got all that by working really hard and he earned it. And for me, I just felt like I was tagging along. So I was kind of tired of it and I got my own place. I just wanted to feel like I earned it. Honestly, I didn't earn that house. I didn't earn any of like the luxuries that I had and I felt like it just wasn't deserved. Like I, like I feel like I didn't deserve to be living there, but also just like a sense of independence that I wanted. Like I just wanted to feel like I had my own space and I'm only 19, like I feel like I shouldn't be moved in and like this big house with my boyfriend already, like I feel like we kind of moved too fast. And Nathan and I both agreed on that and just kind of have our own space and see how it feels because we've never lived alone before. I'm about to do an ASMR real quick, ready for this? This is a horrible ASMR, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was terrible. Are me and Unspeakable gonna be okay? Yes, we will be just fine. I promise. What is it like living without Nathan? Really weird. Okay, my car is making insane noises. I don't know if the mic picked that up. I think I'm gonna have to walk home. My car is dying. Guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to show you guys this real quick. Oh, see how the gauge just dropped? If it gets to zero, that means my car dies. And it keeps like dropping to zero like halfway but it keeps making these super weird noises and i think it's about to die okay anyways i'm gonna try and not worry about that how do i like living without nathan i'm so scared for my car right now i'm so sorry but this is a big deal i've had this car for a very long time and i think it's about to give out on me and i'm not even kidding this car is so old this car is 17 years old and if this thing dies like that's it i would have to replace like the whole engine if this thing dies what is it like living without nathan there um i have a lot of dance parties now i'm just chilling i'm having a great time not to say that i don't miss nathan but it also is a very different vibe living alone and i am loving it it's so hot in here my macaroons are melting this is where i draw the line another question is how old am i I am 19 and my birthday is July 4th, so I will be 20 this summer. So I'm very excited. Do you think you'll ever get a cat? I have two cats, but the way that we worked it out between Nathan and I, um, Nathan is taking care of Simon and I have Simba at my apartment. It works out pretty well. I feel like Nathan and Simon get along really well because they're both like super hyper and very playful and Simba is very chill. I feel like I'm not very chill, but you know, whatever. I love them both. So yeah, we're kind of doing a splitsies thing. So Nathan's taking care of Simon, but I still have Simba. Um, where was your first date with Nathan? It was so long ago, I don't remember. We started dating like four years ago. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I think we went to like a fast food place our first time ever hanging out together it wasn't anything fancy that's for sure because we were still in high school I think I was only I think I was 15 when we first met was moving out a step back in your relationship this is actually a really common question that I get for us no like in our personal relationship I feel like it's not I feel like it's helping us move forward because we're growing as individuals in a way that we weren't able to when we were living together I don't know it seems weird and it seems like we're taking a step back but we're really not like I think like him and I both think like this is really good for us and that like we can experience something that we've never experienced before and just kind of grow and prosper in our own way and then you know when we're older we can move back into with each other okay last question I get this all the time and it's ridiculous like I can't believe that you guys actually like a lot of people think that I moved out because Nathan broke my laptop um, and if you guys follow him on his uh, YouTube channel he broke my laptop in a YouTube video as a prank and then bought me a new one. But I didn't know he bought me a new one and it was like this whole deal and I got really upset about it because he broke my laptop and I, whatever. But a lot of people think that I moved out because he broke my laptop because I posted my moving out video like a couple days after that happened. <laughs> and the answer is no, I did not move out because Nathan broke my laptop. That would be ridiculous, I would never do that. That would never be the reason behind something. 
like so serious like moving out is a big step and I would never move out just because he broke my laptop plus he bought me a new one so like I can't even be upset I would love to continue to talk to you guys but I think my car is about to break down so I need to get home as soon as possible before I get stranded with that being said I love you guys thank you for tuning in as if I'm a radio station or something. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are not already. I'm gonna put these away because they're melting. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all. If you are not following me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, then you better do it now. Um, and I'll leave that linked in the description below because I am constantly putting out different polls and I just want to know y'all's opinion and anytime that I want to hear y'all's point of view or want questions or anything like that, I always put it out on my Instagram story. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram so that you can keep up with everything and you can be included in my videos. So I love you guys. I hope my car doesn't break down. I'll let you know um, in the next video if it's dead or not. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys back here in another video.